station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 71, NASDAQ is up 13, S&P is up five. That being said, folks, guess what? This market gave up so many points Today, it's amazing. We're going to be getting the red by the time this show is over. The S&P has just given up 62 points, and the NASDAQ has given up 285 points, okay? Bottom line, I suspect we're going to, well, it looks to me, looks, well, there we go. We just went red, okay? This is, this is a really weak market, uh, and what we may have here is a very large ABC structure down. Let's get into the rest of it. Gold. Gold. Excuse me, folks. Gold contract down two dollars thirty cents, trading at eighteen forty an ounce. We got silver up thirty seven cents, twenty four dollars sixty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, eighty six dollars ninety cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year note up one tick, one twenty seven twenty three. The thirty year down one at one fifty four seventeen. And king dollar, king dollar is up two hundred and twenty three ticks, trading ninety five seven thirty three. The euro is at 113. The yen's at one fourteen, and the British pound is at one thirty six to one U S dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is pretty intense, folks. Uh, bottom line is that we've had the selling happen. Uh, what you did with the SPY today, you got all the way up to 456, and we're at 451. The low of yesterday was 451.46, and guess what? I suspect we're going to go under that level as we come into the close. We're only 50 cents away from it. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs, they actually just went negative. Three Qs got as high today at 373. And the bottom line, you are at 366.41. The low of yesterday was 366.21. This is gonna blow this away. Well, it blew it away by a penny. This is, 350 is, looks to me like, we, we get game. That, that's how this is shaking out, man. And if it is an ABC down, so let's check this out, how this would work. So you got A is 390 to 366. So we're talking about 34 points, which we, yeah, 34 points is gonna, gonna basically uh, get you, so uh, that's actually three, Four. That's actually three forty. So, so picture this. This is going to get cool watching how this shakes out. If in fact we get that ABC down, three fifty is the price projection from the high volume low October fourth. Right. That being said, if this is going to be an ABC down, that means it's going to blow that away. And if that's what we get, let me look at this for a second. So three fifty. Is that three fifty right there? 
Yeah, that's 350 there. So bottom line, you break 350, man, you're going to uh, 338's the next stop after that. And I don't even want to think about the amount of high volume lows that are out in this marketplace. And so let's just look at this just in an aspect on a Fibonacci expansion contraction if, in fact, we're in the middle of a nice correction. So picture how this works, folks. This is a pretty amazing, actually. If, if we do just a 0 .382 correction from the lows of the pandemic low in March, that brings you down to 315. That's a 0 .382 correction. That's a normal correction, by the way, okay? So we'll see where this is go the whole thing's gonna shake out. What we certainly have right now, and you can see it quite clearly, is that we have highs. So look at this, man. So the first high that was generated in the queues was, had volume of 230 million. Now watch what happens here. That, so that's the high. Then we come off that high down with 403. So we make a high with 230, you come down with 403. Three weeks later, we tested that, and we tested that with 156 versus 230. And then what ends up happening again? Bottom line, you come off of that with 313 million and 372, and we're gonna have at least another probably 300 million this week. This is a, this is a market that wants lower price, man, in a big way. Gold, gold contract out here, you know, had a nice day out here yesterday. Bottom line is that you get a flat market in gold out here today. Uh, what you have is that we're at 1840. This, this baby's on its way up to that 1881. Silver is already making the move. If you take a look at the silver contract, what you have in the silver contract is that you're up 37 cents. Yesterday, we were up like a buck. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we are at 2460. Next stop up there is 2552. Let's go take a look at King Dollar because what you do have with King Dollar, King Dollar came up to ice, gave it up, back up there again, and we'll see whether it can uh, basically uh, get inside the higher range. Right now, it's teetering right at ice. And what ice is, folks, is that that's where it, it's a... When you take a look at a consolidation, when you break down or break up out of a consolidation, that's ice. That's a, it's a Wyckoff term. And the way that he actually came up with it, which is pretty cool, is that he um, had a, a stream outside his backyard. And what ice was is that he felt is that the, you jump the creek. So you have a creek. You jump the creek. You break ice. Then you come back up and you test it. And then the market normally lets go at that particular point. So pretty wild. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. Now, these are in a large ABC structures on the way down. So this is going to get really intriguing, particularly get intriguing when the market doesn't hold price and you don't have bonds going higher. That this, is, this is how weak the bond market is also. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now. Uh, look at this. Unbelievable. The Dow's up 24. Nasdaq's down 11. S&P's are flat. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 34. You got the Nasdaq down 19. S&Ps are uh, off uh, one. Peloton. This is uh, something else, folks. Okay, and you are going to see uh, an equity uh, right now. It's down seven and a half dollars, and this is so unusual. Uh, what is actually happening here? It's not unusual that you see a stock, you know, go from 170 dollars to 25 dollars. Um, which this has done. I believe it was around 170. Let me see what this is. So, 160. No, 171. 171. So it was $171 January of 2021. The bottom line is that now you've done, <laughs> this, this baby is on its way down to like $17. Uh, the IPO price on this, I believe, was like $26 or $27 issue information. $29. So it's $29. So here's the news on it. This is what is amazing about what, what is actually happening in this equity. And they actually stopped production because guess what? More supply than demand. Okay. Peloton uh, shares plummeted 27%. Thursday on a report that it's temporarily halted in production of bikes and treadmills. The latest sign that the star of the pandemic has lost its shine. Production of Peloton's main stationary bikes will be paused for two months. Bottom line, folks, is that, you know, in the office when this came across, right, you know, we have a, a couple guys, bottom line, they were looking at Pelotons last year. You couldn't get them because it, it took too long. Do you think they're going to pay $2,500 for a Peloton now? No way. Do you think anyone's going to pay $2,500 for a Peloton? My take, no way. The real question is going to be is that how much do they have to come down in price in order to move that product out and then... On top of that, the bottom line is that those are the people that you actually, in the future, they're going to lose all those sales because those are the people that are sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. I think Peloton, uh, part, there you go. As Z says, a flash in the pan, man. I mean, we've seen how many uh, uh, bikes over the course of years have been outside, on sidewalks, getting picked up by trash. Uh, bottom line, pretty amazing. Uh, let's go take a look at, okay, we got a question. Hi, Tom, in the last one and a half, two years, every time the GDX has a big move like yesterday, big volume price, it proceeds to tank afterwards. Why is it different this time? Um, I don't know, Let, let's take a look at it. Um, I don't necessarily, well, bottom line, um, The first part of that question, I, I, I guess you'd have to show me where you've had a big move and then uh, GDX gives it up. You know, that's, that's the other side of it. Um, 
So I don't think there's anything different this time uh, in general. You know what I mean? It's like you've been in a consolidation. We've been, uh, you know, 45 is the high on the GDX uh, bottom lines that we just took out the top of the consolidation. We'll see whether it can stay. You know, what we're going to see here, and this is where it's going to get really intriguing, is that what we had yesterday is that you had the gold contract move, you had the silver contract move, the gold equities move, in a very bad down market. The real question is going to be, is that going to stay that way? And we'll find out. You know, most times, folks, what ends up happening is that in any down market, they take the good, the bad, the ugly, everything goes down. That being said, that didn't happen yesterday. And we're, what I can see happening pretty closely, because if we, if we take a look at the, the amount of the amount of volume that came in the gold equities yesterday was phenomenal, okay? And you, you're getting some decent fall through today. So if you're a equity person, you're an equity fund, and you see what's going on and you, you understand that we are in inflation, would you start swapping out some high flyers, okay, going into metals, oil. My take is that that's what we're going to see. It's already happened in the oil market. Uh, bottom line, um, you know, I suspect we're going to get the exact same thing, but we'll find out. Um, you know, th there's no doubt that uh, there's a question that, like, okay, will, would you sell the gold stocks also because of the fact that they're getting hurt somewhere else on margin calls and all that? Most of the time what ends up happening, I would say, is that when we're talking about large funds, um, they're not going to get hit with margin calls. You know, you and I are going to get hit with margin calls. There's no doubt about that. Um, that's, that's a whole different ball game. I think the bigger picture is that, you know, there's a, there's a swap out. And we'll find out uh, just where this goes. Uh, this market in general is so weak, it's unbelievable. In fact, we would, would probably we're going to see today, let me just see this. What we had, we had the NASDAQ composite yesterday um, getting down into the October 4th bar. The bottom of that bar is 14,181. The top of that bar is 14,499. We're 200 points into that bar, folks. When you get 200 points into that bar, Bottom line, you're going to get to the bottom of that bar. Uh, let me put this on a weekly for a second. So the composite right now is back to where it was in June of this. No, June of, oh, my God, June of, no, June of 2021, 20, okay? So what's game here is that if, we, if the composite... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. If the composite breaks into 14,170, which is not that far away, okay, that is saying that, guess what, you're going to go down to 12,397. And then you're back to where we were in January of 2021. And let me just look at what kind of a correction that would be. So 0 0.382 is 12,533. If that's what we get, <laughs> there'd be some big problems. Um, now, one of, the, well, here, let's first take a look at some of the high volume stocks today. And they will have volume. Uh, you get uh, Peloton's the big one. Advanced Micro's down four and a half dollars. You get Microsoft up a buck seventy nine. JD.com is up five ninety one. You get uh, Pinduoduo up two forty six. And I had brought this up uh, the other day. Uh, FXI. Okay, so here, let's go take a look at Hong Kong because the Hang Seng is on fire, folks. Uh, I mean, in a, in a big way, too, in a good way. Hang Seng last night was up 3.4%. And there's volume behind this move after. Uh, oh, look at this. It's probably an ABC. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's see. This is an ABC up. Let's see. Airy. Okay, so I needed 2.16 billion. And you get two point. It's an ABC up. Okay, so check it out, man. Twenty, twenty-four thousand. One second. Twenty-four thousand five sixty-one. That's the B point. 
22709. So we got 2000. This is a nice ABC up. Holy cow. 23951. 23951. So you get a price projection. Look at this. Okay, so the Hang Sang right now, folks, is at uh, 24,952. It took out the B point last night with volume. This price projects to 26,203. So that's another, uh, another thousand points up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials down 41. You get the NASDAQ off 61. S&Ps are down 12. Uh, there's some uh, destruction happening out here, folks. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. The strength, JD.com's up 7.5%. Baidu, 5%. Pindo Duo, three and a half. You can see both, all three of those. Oh, here. I'm sorry. Let me go FXI. Because we, we had just finished up. We, the Hang Sang was doing the ABC structure on the way up. It's confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And you can see the FXI, bottom line, you're up 129 bucks. Uh, $1.29. $1 this took out the B point also. So let me just see this. $38.82. Three and a half dollars. That's $40.80. Uh, bottom line is that any type of retracement, I mean, if you're looking for trades, uh, what I would do is this. Any type of retracement 
inside of the Hang Sang, folks, the bottom line is that that's where you want to be. Um, you buy the retracement, has light volume, then you get some action. And one way that you can buy it is to buy it through the FXI. We go into the uh, Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Uh, Point-wise out here, what we have is that you have uh, Travelers putting the uh, most amount of points inside the Dow. That's 37 points. United Health 33, Goldman 21, taken away from it. Home Depot, minus 44. 3M, 23. Caterpillar, 20. It's really not that bad. Well, there you go. The Dow's only down 20 anyway. Let's go take a look at Home Depot, okay? So that's the leader out here on the way down inside the Dow Industrials. Home Depot's off its highs of uh, 415. You're at 352. Ooh, man, this is intense. And let me see here. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so Home Depot is on its way. Looks to me like 328 is game. And volume, volume. Yeah, you're coming down with some heavy volume, man. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So this wants lower price also. I mean, there's, uh, there's gonna, you're gonna see some <laughs> uh, selling here, folks. That's the bottom line because we're getting to the point right now. Oh, here, let me see this. Is it, are they saying that the, the Q's actually are at the 200 day? Let me look at this for a second. Oh, look at this now. This is a first. Okay, so check this out, folks. Now, what's going to happen here is that, number one, if it can't hold the 200-day, folks, okay, what's going to happen tonight is that this is going to pop up in a huge amount of machines and be a problem because there's plenty of people that, you know, use uh, bottom line, um, you know, averages. Uh, the 200 is a big deal. Let me see when's the last time we've touched this. I'll bring this back. This is like crazy, man. Look at this, folks. This is sick. So the last time that the 200 actually broke was March 9th of 2020. This is serious business, man. Look at this. Wow. So we'll see. I mean, they're going to... Yeah, as we come into the close out here, there's no doubt they're going to try to defend this. Meaning, and I say they collectively as a market, there's no, there's no doubt. Um, I don't think there's much help for it, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I just don't see it. Uh, the reason being, <clears throat> excuse me, is that when you start seeing acceleration like this, first off, the people that have been around for a while know that, okay, I'm going to start moving some product out. The people that haven't seen something like this... Um, these things, unfortunately, hit your portfolio much quicker than you th think is possible. That, that, that is a reality, you know, because now, because we're just talking about indices, um, you know, and let, let's go take a look at Amazon. So we know that Amazon had a couple, <coughs> excuse me, folks, high volume swing areas. Let's see. So I put this on a weekly. We're at 3,050. And that swing low is 2881. This is game, man. That's the bottom line. That's, that's, that's the bottom of the consolidation. And uh, the, the good news with Amazon, if you're looking for good news, is that it's coming down with dramatically lighter volume. So what happens is this. Last week we came down with 14 million. The swing point that we're talking about here is 20. And then the swing before that is 28. So if you've been waiting for Amazon, you know, first I'd look at the market, that's for sure, as to where the market is. But this looks to me like we're getting there, number one. And the hint so far is that you're going to get down there, but yet you're going to have another contraction of volume. And if that's what you get, the bottom line is that um, that would be saying that it still wants higher price. But, you know. We'll see uh, how it hits those lower levels. And, you know, Amazon right now at this particular price, <clears throat> excuse me, is still a 74 PE. They're growing. They're growing, by, they're still growing by 10% a year in North America. Internationally, they're growing 8%. And AWS is growing, 
uh, let's see, 12, yeah, 12 and a half percent a year. So, you know, when you look at PEs, the bottom line is that you have to, you take the growth into consideration. What I normally do is just look at the PE, look at the growth, minus the growth in the PE, so you can see actually where we are at in the whole aspect of uh, the, the market, meaning what are you paying for that $1 of earnings. We go uh, take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin out here is trading at uh, up nine. 900 bucks, you're at 42,670, and this got up to uh, 43,506 in couldn't hold price. Uh, the GBTC, uh, Tommy was talking about this on a show this morning. This is phenomenal, man. The bottom line is that this is at a minus 25.79% premium. You know, so if in fact, folks, you wanna get into Bitcoin, I'd suggest you don't right now. But the bottom line is that instead of buying a Bitcoin, the way to go, man, is you just buy the GBTC because you're buying a Bitcoin at 25% value um, off. Let's go to Robert in Kansas. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hello. Tom, How you doing, thanks man? Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for calling, man. How you been? I've been doing well, thank you. Good. Hey, I know you just talked about QQQ, and I, I have a general question. You started touching on this yesterday with the yes. tick in the trend. Did the tick in the trend only apply to the uh, S&P 500, or can you use that for the Qs as well, or can you elaborate on that? Yeah, absolutely. You use it for everything. For, so, so what happens is this. When I say everything, well, I'm talking about the S&P, the Dow Industrials, the NASDAQ, okay? So, okay. but you're using, what we are using is, what the trend first does is this, folks, okay? The trend gets you into the aspect of, one second, let me, let me put it up right now. In fact, yeah, we're just gonna take a quick break and we, when we come back, this is gonna be cool because this is what you definitely wanna wrap your head around, folks. When we come back, I'm gonna go through the tick, I'm gonna go through the trend and what you should be looking for for a, for a bottom. That's 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 what we're going to be talking about. Market wise out here, this is selling off. This is going to accelerate. This you get 20 minutes left, folks. 20 minutes left. The S and P's, I believe, have probably given up 100 points. Uh, stay right there. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's down uh, 95. NASDAQ is off uh, 89. S&Ps are off 20. And just to give you an idea of inside this S&P, folks, okay, uh, the bottom line is that the high of today uh, was 90 points higher than we are right now. It's down 20. We're talking uh, to Robert from Kansas, and we're talking about uh, basically the trend, uh, the tick index. So what happens at if, you know, at lows, um, Robert, is that first we take a look at the trend, right? So the trend, bottom line, um, this is actually pretty amazing. I mean, the tick. First, we'll do the tick. It's pretty amazing. Actually, we just got a minus uh, 1,800. So, so what are you what are you looking for there? This is what you look. It's it's a, it's a it's a, a three way combination. This is what it is. So when the tick. Yesterday, we got a minus 15-something, a minus 15.80, okay? And normally what happens, folks, is this. You need two. The second one only has to be 30, I mean, 70% of the first one. In this particular case, we just got more selling, a minus 18.51. So specifically what a, a minus 18.51 means is this, is that the way the tick is established is that you take the amount of equities that are going up versus the equities that are going down, and then the tick gets put in place as to how many people sold on the bid, not the offer, within the minute. And you can see the bottom line is that that was an acceleration, so people are getting paranoid, okay? That's the first part. Now, when we go to the arms index, though, and we take a look at this, we're not close. Before you, before you go there on yeah. the tick, what's a number, like an absolute number that you like to see? Is it like 1,500 or 1,800, or what's kind of your threshold? Yes. And so, so that's a great question. So the question is, folks, okay, when you start getting to a bottom, are you going to get a minus – minus 15 is a big one. Let me tell you, the last two days, this, these are big ticks, man. I mean – when I've seen bottoms made on minus 14, you know, minus 1350. I mean, you know, that that's that's a decent. This is a this is a this is a very large tick, down tick for sure. sure. And what you don't do, folks, is this: you do not take a look at the opening or the closing when you're doing the tick because that that is not consistent. It's the middle of the day, and what it means is that simultaneously everyone's hitting the button at the exact same time. Okay, but what you need with that is that you need the aspect of the arms, okay, which is the trend. You need that to get to large numbers. Now, let me show you something. And this is, this is problematic, folks, for the market in a, in a big way. You see this, this arms index right now? Yesterday was 1.11, and right now we're at 1.04. That is saying that there's no fear in the marketplace. This, this, oh, so this, that's really bad because... It, you want so you want like an exhaustion fear to form a bottom, and if you, there's no fear, then that's we could have a ways to go, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is very. I can tell you this. This is very unusual. That even yesterday only had a one point one one, and today we're on at one point zero four. This should go up a little. One point zero six right now. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's not um, <laughs> that that's not fear, you know. That, and what what would you characterize, or what would you like? What would it be two or two and a half, or what? what uh, thank that? you, thank you. This is what you do. 
you take the arms, right, and you're looking for, most of the time, you take a five-day arms and you add it up, and a five-day arms is going to be about 8.50 8 and over. That's when you start finding bottom, bottoms. And we're not even close. I mean, you can see. What happens, folks, is when everyone's buying, if you're looking at my screen, when everyone's buying, it's always under a one. Now, what a one means, so here, let's go through this. So what a, let's picture this. Let's picture that we're going to a, um, a, an antique show or something, okay? We're going to an antique show, and the reason I'm, and you're walking down the middle aisle, and, and what happens Walking in the middle aisle, let's just say that there's 10 boots on our left-hand side, there's 10 boots on our right-hand side. What a one means is that we're giving all those 10 boots the same amount of business, more or less. That's, that means that that's an even market. That's when breath is cool in the market. That's when that happens. When you get a market that is buying too much, what that is saying is that we're walking down and then all of a sudden the Tesla's, Apple's, and Google's are on, you know, three of them, and they're getting all the business. As, as, the, as the high flyers are getting all the business, folks, that is always very dangerous. And then I've seen these arms go down to 0 0.40, and then if you add up a five-day arms, and it only comes to basically three, three and a half, that is most of the time a top in the market, okay? So you need a high-tech, you need a high arms, five-day arms reading, and then you need a rejection of lower price. So the way this market's trading right now is problematic uh, because of the fact that you still don't have it. And as we're speaking, this, this market keeps going south. You know? Now, what's, what's also happening right now is that we're going into a Friday and you're coming into a weekend. So the real question is going to be, you know, who's going to buy on a Friday? And who wants to be over the weekend? You know, it's, we get some problems here, man. You know, that's the bottom line. So we'll, we'll see where well, this is going to go. Thank you for taking your analysis. I appreciate it. Thanks for the call, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Um, you too. You know, we, we'll see where this goes, folks. But there's, there's going to be what you're going to have out here today, which is very unusual for new folks that are in the market. When I, when I say new folks, I'm talking about someone six or seven years easy, is that when you come down 90 S&P points, more than likely someone, there's plenty of people that have never seen that. You know, that, that, that's, that's a reality. Like if we take a look at the SPY, you have, well, we just went from 458 to 448. It's 10 bucks. You know, the individual stocks you're going to see, you know, took much more of a beating. And hopefully, you know, people protected themselves and just didn't take this leg all the way down. Because if they did, and we're going to find out pretty soon, and I suspect this close, if you think this is bad, normally what happens is like this. When you get a down market, like we have right now, and the S&Ps were up 60 points, you are going to see a sell into this close that will bring, we're down 35 S&P points right now. I suspect we're gonna be down 50 to 55. Because what happens is this, is that everyone that bought all day long, they're hoping, 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 okay? And they have been saved many times. When you get a market like this, it, it goes. It, it's, it's, not, it's not good. And I think that's what we're going to get coming into this close. You know, um, pretty pretty intense uh, in general. I can tell you that. Uh, we'll see uh, how this. Uh, you know, the the doll is going higher. They're at three thirteen. Gold is at five twenty, down five twenty. Dow Industrials right now down one eighty. Nasdaq is down one thirty nine. S and P's is down thirty two. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpen
sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free! Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down uh, 289. You get the NASDAQ off 181. S&Ps are down 47. Let's go to the S&Ps and take a look at this baby and see if this has set up another ABC structure down. Let's see what we have here. So, okay, so you blew this away. Yeah, yeah, it's not even ABC down because the bottom line, folks, is it's been a straight line move down. That's it. I mean, you know, you take a look at this. It's pretty amazing, actually. So we're, we're actually down. Man, I've seen some moves, but this is a beauty in a bad way. But it, it's so 45.94. We were down 120 points from the high. That right? Very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, of course, you get five, five more, well, you get more than five minutes. Um, but this, in the last uh, few minutes, is going to be even more disgusting. You can see, between the last, the last break, we were down, what, 34 S&P points. Now we're down 52. Um, and what you haven't seen yet, you haven't seen the lunge that I was talking about in, in the last segment. You know, it's been steady on the way down, but see this bar here, what we still ha haven't got yet? This bar, you're gonna see this bottom bar accelerate in a monster way. Because guess what? What ends up happening, it's either gonna be the broker dealer selling out the client or the client itself knowing that they gotta get out. And they'll on a day like today, trust me, they're gonna wait right to the last second, you know, because the bottom line is that 
you know, most times you get a bounce in the marketplace. That's that's how it goes. You know, it we'll we'll see where it shakes out. But uh, bottom line is that you, you got a little problem in paradise here. Uh, if we go take a look at uh, just some of the higher volume ones and see if someone else is something else is picking up in there. Peloton, we know that. Advanced Micro down six and a half dollars. Yeah, nothing nothing is really sticking out like in a monster way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Please come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Go get him, folks. Building 